All right, King of the Cage fans, we are now ready for our next bout of the evening. Your referee in charge at this time is Cecil Peoples. Introducing first, fighting out of the Lucas Oil Blue Corner. He weighed in at 146.1 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, California, and representing ASG of Moreno Valley. Ladies and gentlemen, he is Alex Young Guns Araiza. And his opponent, fighting out of the general tire red corner. He weighed in at an even 150 pounds. Fighting out of right here in Las Vegas, Nevada, and representing Uprising MMA. Ladies and gentlemen, he is Miguel El Palito Villarreal. Man, here we go. Cecil calls him out. Both guys immediately run into the center of the cage. Everybody's trying to dominate that general tire center of the cage. Getting the best of it here is Ariza. Villarreal obviously has a long range, tall, lanky fighter. Quick hands, quick kicks, and that snappy jab. But I'll tell you what, the head movement of Ariza is really tight. Moves nicely, but eats a nasty leg kick right there. Villarreal just jabbing, jumping in with that Superman punch, really using that range nicely. Anytime he thinks that Ariza is coming in, he does that rear leg push hip kick. And beautiful counter with that jab to left hook. Villarreal striking is nice, moving beautifully, angling, switching it up, circling, jobbing. And jab to straight right from Villarreal, just misses, but I'll tell you what, he has some power on those long punches. Ariza has not been able to figure it out. There's finally an inside leg kick that lands. Didn't seem to stun Villarreal at all. Villarreal with a high kick that's checked nicely, but those still hurt. And there's a good double jab straight right to left hook from Villarreal. That's a beautiful combination for him. Ariza's gonna have to step in with some punches and really get a shot off. Jab, 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 right hook on the way out, sliding out. These punches aren't doing a lot of damage, but they're scoring points. And it will definitely keep you on the outside. Villarreal is a nice striker. Just using his range at 150 pounds, you don't see guys this rangy and this tall in this weight class. Is having all kinds of problems. Ariza can't even find his way in. He's a kick, straight right. What a round. Let's take a look at his movement. Immediately coming out of the gate, there was a high kick, four punch combination, jab, really comfortable. Obviously, Villarreal has spent a ton of time sparring, knows what he needs to do. Tell Cecil, get out of my way, fool. I'm trying to work here. Round two. Let's see if Aviza can find his way in. He's the people calls him out. And there's an overhead right that misses. It's going to take more than one punch or one kick at a time to break through this guard of Villarreal. Villarreal with a straight right, double jab, left hook. Finishes up with a leg kick, goes back to the job. 
Catches the kick. Now on top. Ariza going to go to work, but you got to look out for that high guard. There's a nice arm bar. He might be out of it right now. Good job of defending it. These tall, lanky guys are really hard to deal with from their guard. He needs to jump in there as quickly as possible. Possibly spin around the other way. There you go, jumps in. Now has a half pass. A lot safer here for Ariza. So try and get him flat on his back. Needs to suck that left elbow out. Regains guard. And Ariel is dangerous from here going high guard. The reason he's a posture up, get his hips down. Don't let him control those arms. That high guard's dangerous. And that's the way to soften a guy up. Posture up, get the hips down, and deliver some real punches. Working that high guard again. Uriel is trying to set him up, and there's a good punch from Ariza. Needs to go body, body, head. Cecil's had enough. Uriel didn't like that much, catches the left hook. Ariza finds her some range here. Slowing down just a little bit as Villarreal not quite circling as much as eating two or three kicks. One or two punches. Beautiful jab from Ariza. And there's a good left hook to the body. And that's it for round two. Let's take a look at this replay. Catches the leg. Beautiful takedown from Ariza. Does some decent work down there. Let's see what round three has the offer. That round could have gone either way. See some people calls him out. He's just finding the distance. Catches that leg again. Jumps up to a flying triangle. That's in there deep. In real trouble here is Ariza. He's going to have to posture up. In danger of getting armbarred here. Trying to go knee on the belly, and that's it. It's over. Wow. Miguel Villarreal. This 150-pound class has better look out. You don't want to do that. That immediately sets up that triangle. And that thing went in there deep. It went in there tight. And there was no chance of Rizzo was getting out of that bad boy. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of 28 seconds of round number three. Your referee in charge, Cecil Peoples, calls a halt to this bout by your winner. By way of arm bar submission, Miguel El Palito Villarreal. King of the Cage on MAV-TV will return after this.